There are plenty of smartphones out there and a lot of them are great. Some of those phones are true flagships and others are even called flagship killers. Meet the Nubia Z11, the phone that has all the flagship great specs and killer looks. My name is Linus, stay tuned for a full review. The phone ships in quite a premium box as most of the Nubia phones. Inside of it you can find a fast charger, USB-C cable, SIM ejector pin, micro USB to USB-C adapter and a pair of earphones that actually have a decent sound quality. One of the key selling points of the Nubia Z11 is its 5.5 inches true bezel-less display. In fact, the phone has 81% screen to body ratio which is one of the best in the business. Speaking of that display, we have a sharp and vibrant and bright 1080p panel that also has a decent sunlight legibility and it is covered with the Gorilla Glass 3. The Z11 comes with some interactive edgy gestures. For example, you can quickly swipe through the recent apps or quickly access a different desktop. An 8 megapixel shooter is here for selfies and just below it there are nicely backlit capacitive buttons that can be customized and you can adjust the brightness of them. Also the home button serves as a pulsing notification light which is pretty cool. As far as the main camera, we have a pretty powerful setup that includes a 16 megapixel Sony sensor, f2.0 aperture, optical image stabilization and dual tone dual LED flash. The fingerprint sensor works fine and you can unlock your phone straight from the standby mode. The loudspeaker quality is great, the sound is balanced, there is a decent amount of depth and even a little bit of bass. You can also tweak the audio settings with the Dolby Atmos surround sound system. The sound quality via the headset jack is great too and that is thanks to the built-in hi-fi audio chip. It's great that we have the IR blaster to control devices like TVs. The buttons are made of metal and they have a great tactile feedback. When it comes to hardware, the Nubia Z11 is a true flagship smartphone. It sports a Snapdragon 820 chip, 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage which can be also expanded via the microSD card slot. If you are willing to pay extra 100 bucks or 100 euros, you can get a super sexy looking black and gold version that also comes with 6 gigs of RAM. As expected, I didn't have any issues when I played 3D games on the highest graphics settings, also the phone did not overheat at all. The device ships with the Nubia UI 4.0 which is built on top of Android 6.0. It is quite a heavy skin and there are so many built-in features and customization options to talk about. Just to name a few, the split screen mode allows you to run two apps side by side. Also you can adjust the display settings, customize the breathing light and capacitive buttons and use a few screen gestures that were great. The camera app can take pictures very fast and there are quite a few shooting modes to choose from. For example, you can adjust the camera settings in the pro mode or play with the camera family apps. One of my favorites is the clone mode that works pretty well. The daylight images taken with the 16 megapixels camera look great. The pictures are sharp, there is a ton of detail and the colors look natural. Also, the dynamic range adjustment is good most of the time. The indoor shots look good too but we can see a little bit more noise and a little bit less detail. The low light camera performance is kind of a mixed bag but we need to consider the fact that the phone runs on a very early international software build. You can definitely get some good looking night photos but you may also get some pictures with quite a bit of noise and low amount of detail. I'm pretty sure we'll see a software update to fix that. Currently I'm shooting with the Nubia Z11. This is handheld footage. As always, I'm trying to hold the phone as steady as possible. The 4K video quality is pretty good and the footage looks quite sharp. The continuous autofocus adjustment is graceful but it could be a little bit faster. 
the slow motion video quality is not very impressive as there could be more detail. A selfie camera can take some great looking pictures in daylight and even in lower lit situations. Also, 1080p video quality is not the best but it will be definitely good enough for social media. The phone comes with a hybrid dual SIM card tray which can take either two SIMs or one SIM and the microSD card. The call quality, signal reception, GPS, Wi-Fi and all other connectivity options work just fine. In fact, you can use the dual antenna system to boost the signal reception quality if you need to. Nubia Z11 sports a 3000 mAh battery and with my usage, I could get 1.5 days out of it. If I use the phone very intensively with a maximum brightness display setting, I needed to charge the phone in the late evening. When it comes to charging, the phone supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 tech that allows you to fully charge the phone in just one hour. Nubia Z11 is a great all-around flagship that looks just gorgeous. Its bezel-less display is sharp and vibrant and the edge features allow you to increase productivity if you get used to using them. The phone can handle anything you throw at it, whether it would be heavy gaming or just scrolling through the user interface, which has a ton of features. Also, the Nubia Z11 has great audio quality, good battery life, and the device is very well built. Both cameras are very good if you tend to take pictures in broad daylight since the low-light camera performance is kind of a mixed bag. You can definitely get some good-looking night photos, but sometimes you may feel a little disappointed with the grainy pictures. Hopefully, Nubia will improve that with the future software updates. All in all, Nubia Z11 is a very solid phone and the inconsistent low-light camera performance may be the only shortcoming at the moment. The price of 499 euros may sound a little steep for some, but the phone brings a lot to the table and it is still a lot cheaper than the mainstream flagships. It was Lionus, thanks for watching, drop me a comment down below saying whether you like the Nubia Z11 or not. Also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow TechLineHD on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you soon.